How many data sets would you say get analyzed in a given day? 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 9,999. Today we're going to use a command called 3D Synthesize and we are going to synthesize that one data set in 10,000. Now this is a necessary step to do before we do any sort of functional connectivity because it's good to create a fitted time series using 3D Synthesize and then subtract out all the stuff that we don't want from our fitted time series containing the actual regressors of interest. So here you might need to rerun 3D Deconvolve. Again, we're working with AFNI Data 6 and what 3D Synthesize needs is a command, an option called C bucket in the 3D Deconvolve stream. So I've just altered it slightly this new data set is going to be called cstats.subject. It's only going to contain the coefficients. Okay, so I've already run this. Uh, just rerun it, add this simple option, and call that output data set whatever you want. But once that's done, we're going to type 3D synthesize prefix effects no interest. And we need to give it the X matrix that we have from our 3D deconvolve command. We also need the C bucket, which is that coefficient data set. I call that cstats.ft. And then we also need to select the columns of the data set that we don't want. So let me open up another terminal here just to show you how we can look at those. Let's go to AFNI data 6. Let's go to AFNI, or sorry, AFT analysis. Let's go to AFT.results. And what you can do is you can type grep column labels and then the name of that x.xmat that you output. Okay, so it's going to give you run 1, pull lord 0, 1, 2. We talked about this in earlier tutorials about how they try to account for drift, and they have different orders. So, you know, linear, quadratic, cubic, and so on. Uh, these two down here are effects of interest, and we also have the motion regressors. Now, for 3D synthesize, before we do functional connectivity, we're going to want to remove all of these different drift regressors, so everything up until about here, and then all of these motion regressors. Again, if you want to look at this visually, type 1D plot then the x dot, uh, xmat dot 1D matrix. So these first 12 columns are going to remove, and also these last six. So what you could do with 3D synthesize is you could, in the select option, actually type in each of these effects of no interest individu individually. Sorry, I burped a little bit. Or you could just type the number of the columns. All right, so typing select. And here you could actually just create a variable and then insert that. I'm going to type it out manually. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 12 and 13 are the regressors of interest. So we're going to skip over them. And then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Let that run. And now we're going to get an output data set which is a fitted time series of just those regressors or effects of no interest. We're going to then use 3D calc to subtract those from our fitted time series with the regressors of interest. So that's 3D synthesize. Those are really all the commands you'll ever use. And you can use it to select different columns, play around with it, see what the output looks like. And also, if you want to, and you remember from previous tutorials, you can overlay that fitted time series onto another time series graph to see how well it lines up.